Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions you have related to electrical and life safety. With easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Today, we will find out more about NFPA 58 Liquefied Petroleum Gas Code. So what you want to do is go to your NFPA Link dashboard. You'll see this on the screen here. This will be your homepage here. Everyone's homepage will look a little bit different depending upon what you're set up for. These here happen to be the codes and standards that are online that are highlighted. If we go all the way down, we'll see that we can view all publications. What we want to be looking for is the liquefied petroleum gas code. And maybe I don't know what that code number is. So what you'll want to do is start typing in liquefied. And see what pops up. Right here, you'll get NFPA 58. This happens to be the standard that we're looking for. So let's click here. Here, we show the entire standard and code, what we have. Everything from every chapter, all the way down to each annex. All the way through Annex N. Now, let's say that we're looking for more about the storage on cylinders. So where would we look for that? Chapter 8 has storage of cylinders awaiting use, resale, or exchange. If you aren't sure where that chapter is, you can also use the search function. If I go into here, I can search for anything under NFPA 58. So let's say I don't know that it's in chapter eight and I just wanna look up storage. As you can see, the first thing that comes up is chapter eight, storage of cylinders. So let's click here. Here we can see everything in chapter eight that we have about cylinders. We have the scope of what type of cylinders are going to be using, what type we're not using, and what it does not apply to. So where are my cylinders located and what are the requirements? So if we look under 8.2, we can see cylinders and storage may be located to minimize exposure to excessive temperature rises, physical damage, or tampering. You also have an enhanced content here if you'd like to look at that. This will give you a little more explanation into 8.2.1. Can also talk about um, individual capacity, talks about the building storage of them, where they cannot be stored. As you can see here, 8.2.1.5 says cylinders cannot be stored on roofs. The other thing that you'll need to know is your valves on the cylinders and storage. Where are those? What code does that fall under? What type do you need? Screw on tap, um, collars, things of that nature. Where can I store these? You do have tables within here that tell you your sizes, assembly, occupancy, how much you can have in there. Also, 8.3.1 gives your maximum allowable storage quantities. This is for your mercantile, industrial, and storage occupancies. So if you have storage in an industrial setting, this is where you would need to look. So this would tell you how much my maximum allowable quantity would be based on my location. I can go to here and see how much I can store, and I can go back and see exactly where it can be stored. So this tells me how much and where I can store my cylinders. This also talks about outside of buildings. So you have two different places. You have inside and you have outside of buildings. Section 8.4 will go over where you can store things on the outside. This also gives you your distance from the cylinders in storage and your exposures. So as you can see, chapter eight pretty much discusses anything related to the storage of cylinders awaiting use, resale, or exchange. So if I'm looking for storage of cylinders, I want to go 
into NFPA 58, and I want to go into Chapter 8. That will give me all the information that I need for cylinder storage. We hope that provided some insight into liquefied petroleum gas code and cylinder storage. For more information on how NFPA Link gives you the knowledge you need to get the job done right, visit https forward slash forward slash www.nfpa.org slash link.